So now we're going to discuss mostly about plants first, and that would be about the oxygen and carbon dioxide transport. They leave the cells, they enter the cells by simple diffusion. Water, food and mineral ions, they are dissolved in the water. These are transported by the xylem and the phloem, and this will be the vascular bundles in the vascular bundles of a plant. Okay, so here we have an overview of the plant transport system. We're going to split this picture into the left and the right side. We're going to discuss this separately. The vascular bundles, these are bundles of vessels. There are two kinds of vessels running through a plant, phloem and xylem. And the phloem is for transporting food or manufactured food substances, mostly sugars and uh, amino acids. The xylem is for transporting water and any dissolved mineral ions. So this is an overview. The phloem seen over here is for transporting food. The food here is made in the leaf. So that's over here. Photosynthesis occurs, producing sugars. The sugar will be transported within the phloem. It moves into the phloem. The phloem can move things both up and down the plant. It can be in both directions, depending on where the food is needed. Most of the food manufactured will be stored within the plant, usually the roots or the stem. On the other hand, we have the xylem. On this side, we discuss the xylem a bit more. The xylem is for transporting water and dissolved minerals. These are absorbed through the roots over here. And the way it works, the xylem uses a few different forces, but mostly it's transpiration pool. The transport of the minerals and the water is in one direction only. It moves from the roots upward to the leaves. Okay. Right. In summary, the transport of the water and mineral ions by the xylem over here is by a few different forces within your syllabus. Usually we will say transpiration pool is the most important force for moving water and mineral ions up the xylem. The xylem itself is made up of dead cells and that's kind of important for you to know. The phloem on the other hand transports foods, mostly sugars and amino acids. The sugar is sucrose, and these are produced in the leaves. The phloem transports things up and down the stem. The process is translocation. We don't need to discuss in further detail how translocation works. It's enough if you know the name of this process. And in contrast to the xylem, the phloem tissues are living tissues. Hi, this is a uh transport in plants, we'll be talking about vascular bundles in greater detail. For the vascular bundles of a plant, they can be found in the leaf, in the stem and in the roots. The vascular bundles consist of two types of vessels, we call xylem and phloem. And this xylem and phloem, they have different functions. The xylem carries water and dissolved mineral ions whereas the phloem carries manufactured food that would be sugar, the most important is sucrose here, and amino acids. Sucrose is the sugar that is formed from glucose. Glucose is produced in photosynthesis, as you may remember, but before it's loaded into the phloem, glucose must be first converted into sucrose. Okay, so now let's talk about the 
vascular bundle arrangements. So for our syllabus, we are going to be talking about dicotyledonous plants. If you don't know what that is, it's okay. Dicotyledonous plants tend to have their vascular bundles within the stem arranged in a circular fashion, a, a ring. And we can see here in my upper left picture, a real plant. This is how the vascular bundles would look like in a dicotyledonous plant. Having said that, the vascular bundles can be arranged differently in different plants. And they can also be arranged differently in different parts of the same plant. So you can see here on the right side, a slightly different arrangement where there are vascular bundles only on the lower side here, none up here. Okay, right. If we examine the vascular bundles using a microscope, you've got to cut a slice of this plant and stain it with some dyes to make the different cells pop out clearer within the micrograph. This is what the vascular bundle would look like under a micrograph. And you can see that uh, the colors of different cells are different and the size is different. The arrangement of the cells is quite distinct. And here we can see a vascular bundle. There's another vascular bundle over here. So which of these colored cells represent the phloem? Which one is the xylem? Well, in this picture, the phloem would be the one on the outside over here. The xylem would be the ones over here, the bigger circles. They are more towards the inside, towards the center. Here would be the center of the stem. Right here, this is the center of the stem. So if I were to illustrate here, I've cut the inside part and the outside part. The outside phloem and the inside xylem. Okay, like this. Right, moving on. The xylem is responsible for bringing water up from the roots. The roots absorb water and mineral ions. The xylem only transports upward. And in this picture, the xylem is on the inside, the inner part of the stem. The phloem, on the other hand, transports food or manufactured food from the leaves up and down the stem. As you can see, the phloem transports on the outside. As I mentioned earlier, if we were to look at different parts of a plant, the arrangement of the xylem and the phloem are quite different. And you can see from here, the roots, they have a very different appearance. This whole picture is of a root cross-section over here. And you can see there is a rough cross shape to it. So what are these cells? What do they represent? The ones on the outside are the phloem. They are in between the spokes of this cross shape. And the inner part, that big cross shape, would be the xylem. Okay, so this is quite different from the stem's arrangement. Now, what about the leaves? If we look at the vascular bundles in the leaf, we're going to have to zoom in. So this is a typical leaf, a typical dicotyledonous leaf. If we zoom in and we take a close-up view of the leaf, we can see the veins of the leaf. The veins are actually vascular bundles. Each vein over here, whether it's big or small, is a bundle of xylem and phloem. So we're going to take a cross-section across this part of the leaf, we're going to zoom in and we're going to take a look under the micrograph. We're going to look at the leaf head on. And this is what it would appear like. So this over here, let me highlight that. This is the midrib or the main vein of the leaf. And that would be here, this part. Here we can see the xylem and the phloem's arrangement is roughly like this. The xylem is on the upper side of the leaf. So this one is the upper surface and the phloem is on the lower side. The lower surface is over here. What about all these smaller veins here, here and all that? 
These are shown in the micrograph this way. These are all the smaller veins and each of them is a vascular bundle with the xylem on top and the phloem below. Okay. This is a summary, a diagram of all three vascular bundle arrangements. Here, that of the stem, here, that of the root, and at the bottom, that of the leaf.